You got, what you got, Josh? Oh, oh, oh no! Look at him swimming with the bobber. Oh. Dude, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got him, dude. Here. No, no, no. He's on there. I snagged him, bro. Oh, it's a huge one. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Today, we are out here deep in the woods, actually about to fish this little pond that rides off the Agichi River. And we're gonna be trying to catch some really big fish today. We're not only doing that, we're gonna be filming a live bait video. I told you guys, you know, we're gonna have these juicy live bait videos coming up. And today is gonna to be one of those videos. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button on today's video if you wanna see some more live bait content. Our first step is to rig up these rods. I actually bought some live night crawlers at this gas station. We also got some supplies, which I'll show you. We're gonna go out here, catch some bluegill, put them on the hook use some live, use some as chunk bait as well, and just see what we can catch in this river today. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I wanna film some more videos like this in the future, so let me know if you like them. Let's go ahead and get these rods out of the truck, show you guys what we're working with today. I didn't really bring many rods with us, but I'll show you exactly what I got. So the first rod we got, Custom Pro Mach 2, same for the second bait caster. Got this mock smash combo, and this will probably be used for catching some of the bluegill. Put a bobber on there, a little tiny hook, See if we can catch some live bait with this. And we also have Cody's combo. I think that's gonna be a good good one to catch some live bait on. So, and that's a spinning combo, some mock crush. Go ahead and set these in the back real quick. I'll show you guys the other supplies. So, here's our little bubble box right here. Little styrofoam cooler. Got a little aerator on it. That's gonna be for our live bait. We also got a few bags of goodies right here. So this bag, I actually bought this stuff a while ago because we were trying to film a live bait video it just did not pan out i just spilled all the weights in the bag got some little bobbers right there got some pan fish hooks and then as you guys can tell in the bag we got a bunch of split shots that just spilt out down there and then the stuff that we actually just bought from the store some big old night crawlers. Look at these things. I don't even think you have you seen them, Cody? Mm -mm. Dude, they're monsters. Little slippery little snakes. Look at that thing. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna use to catch, whether it's red breast, bluegill, sunfish. We're gonna use those to catch that, and then we'll use that to catch the bass. And then the last thing we have in here, some circle hooks right there. Those are some catfish hooks. That's really all they had, but I think that's gonna be good to rig those bluegill up. But we're gonna go ahead and start rigging these rods and then we will walk down over here to the little section of the river. It's like a little swamp, and I'll kind of show you guys around, and we'll get to fishing and see if we can catch a big one. Hey, Josh, you need a bobber? Oh, yeah. Need one? We got Josh out here today. Put Josh to the cam. What's up, guys? How are you? What are we about to do today, Josh? We're about to slay him. Some Hopefully, ones. yeah, some big ones. Like, pour me, that picture. Yeah, me, me and Josh and Cody went out, what was it, about a month and a half ago? Mm -hmm. We didn't have the best of luck that day. No, not but, they were on fire the day before, but yeah. not today's bad. the day to turn it around yeah. though. We can do it. Big fish. Like we're going to make it happen. I just want to see what we catch today. I know we can catch a really big bass, but I would love to catch some mudfish and like uh catfish as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm done to catch whatever today. Just saw a month whatever, but not even 10 minutes ago. Shredded the edge of the water. Probably about 15, 17 inches long. All right, guys, well, we're going to get this started. I'm trying to figure out what we should do here. I think on... Cody's spinning reel will probably rig up whatever whatever we need to catch some bluegill and we'll probably do the same on this mock smash right here I know it's kind of funny like I don't I don't really fish like this so I use all my bass stuff for uh, like even bluegill so it's whatever it works it gets the job done so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and line this line through and get everything rigged up for us to catch some bluegill. My biggest thing is I hope there's bluegill out there. I mean, obviously there's some in there, but are they gonna be hard to catch? Because this is like the part of the video that I hope goes a little quick. I hope it's not hard to catch the bluegill. I hope we get on them really quick because I think the most time consuming part is gonna be waiting on a bass to come eat it. So let's just hope that we can catch them pretty quick. Careful. Did you really? Already? 
I pulled a I pulled one off of the drone, dude. Go ahead and tie this old baby hook if I can get the line through it. I know a lot of you guys probably just do a little overhand knot for something this small, but I just tie the uni for everything. Like, it's just kind of been a habit. That's what I do. Just tie a little uni knot. Water line. Boom. We're gonna get old booby out of here. Dude, these bugs are wild, bro. There we go. Now, we're gonna put a few split shots on. her on down all right she's being a bad girl right now hold on mm-hmm give her one more just for decoration you know it's gotta add a little bling bling every once in a while oh yeah there she is two balls of hook and a bobber i think we good to go josh stole our worms in our live well so just see come on josh. normal day Come on, Josh. Why'd you do that, dude? You had to steal all our, all our stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a close one. By the way, if you guys want to see a live bait video where we come out here and find our own live bait, because we have seen a ton of these, like, grasshoppers, let me know if you've heard of them, too. They're, like, black, and they got a little bit of orange on them. And they're kind of, like, armored. Like, they're heavy-built grasshoppers. Kind of, Kind of swole. If you guys want to see that video where we come out here and just kind of dig up some worms and grasshoppers and other types of insects and then try to catch fish, let us know because we'll definitely come back out here and do that. All right. Probably not the smartest idea, but we'll learn our lesson. I'm going to get one of these. That's not a smart idea. I don't feel like leaving with a lip piercing. Look at those big boys. I'm assuming that's the one. Is that the one you broke in half? Poor guy. Mm -hmm. That's a little big. Did you put one on that big? Uh, a little bit smaller. Yeah. A little bit. Oh yeah. All right, there we go. Now let's get out here. See if we can start catching this bait. This is like always the hard part of the live bait video. I feel like getting the bait. No. Huh? Fish, bro. Oh my gosh, it's perfect size, bro. Oh my gosh, baby. Cody saved the day. Now we gotta fill up the live well. Josh, you mind helping me out, brother? You care? Maybe, uh, let's be careful with that. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Here's our first bait fish of the day. Honestly, really great size. I think that's going to be perfect for a big bass to munch on. We're going to go ahead and put him in here. Don't be doing all that. All right, I was about to say, don't play dead with me. All right, we're good to go. So I'm actually going to go ahead and rig up this live bluegill rod because, to be honest with you, I don't see a point... And continuing to fish for these bluegill, if I don't have this sitting out there, we might as well multitask. Have this bluegill running out there, wait for a good bite, and try to catch some bluegill while we're waiting on big old bass to eat this thing. So we'll go ahead and rig this up real quick. Get her on ready. All right, I'm ready. So this is the rig that I got. You know, I got that big circle hook on the end. I think I'm gonna put my bobber about a foot, foot and a half up. Let that bluegill stay at the top of the surface. We'll run this for a little bit, and then if we need to change up, then we will. Go ahead and rig this guy up. I just think we might as well put him out there and let him cook out there and see if we can attract a big fish while we're trying to catch more. Oh my God. Oh my God.
That could have been very bad. If he would have flopped in the water, I probably would have cried. See a couple tears shed in today's video. So there's a few different ways we could do this. You could hook him in the mouth, which I don't like doing because I usually eat him head first. I don't want to have to take a hook out of his throat. We could hook him in the tail or we could hook him in the back. What do you think? Probably in the back. Probably in the back. That's what I was thinking. And I can't remember. I want to say it's right here. Is that correct? I haven't done this in so long, bro. Yeah, I think that's fine right I want there. to say it's right here. You got to be careful. Bam. What you think? I would eat it. I mean, wouldn't you eat that hey if you were bad? If I was a little hungry, I might take a bite too. That's money size too, bro. I just gotta lightly cast it. I don't wanna fling her off. Like you see where everything keeps popping? Yeah. That's money. Please run towards the middle. Yeah, there you go. Well, there's actually a lot of current. Cody just mentioned it. And you know, the bait's going to the left, so it is kinda hard if we threw it out there just to let him sit. You know, that bait's gonna keep on going to the left, then he's gonna get caught up in all this stuff, so guess we just wait so guys our biggest problem right now is you know we're right here in the river it's got all this current and it's like every time i cast that bluegill out like within i'd say maybe a minute and a half he's already over here which one yeah it's annoying but two the the biggest part is you know i don't want to kill this bluegill because every time i cast him out you know it's just hurting him i don't want to kill them and if this one ends up dying i'm probably gonna put some cut bait on but i see a bunch of boils out dude there's something big out there josh holy cow yeah. like, i actually saw it it's probably like that long yeah backlash this dang thing every time Josh over there putting in the work. He got him a bluegill, our second bluegill of the day. What size was it? About the same size? About the same size, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about putting him, you know, on this one, and then we could cut this one up and... What do you think for a cut bait rig? You think a treble would be better? Yeah, I mean, if we're catching, doing it for catfish, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I would say a treble because you don't gotta really hook set it. Like if he eats it, it's gonna eat it. Did you catch him in that little flooded area? Yeah. You get him back in there? Cool. I might go grab that other rod. So we're going to rig up a big old chunk bait rig, bottom rig. And I'm actually going to do it with a treble hook. I've never done this before. If you guys have any rig suggestions, let me know down below. Because I'm not the biggest live bait fisherman. I don't really do this often. So anybody that does and has, you know, some tips for me, drop them down below. You know, I feel like we all could learn here. That's the cool thing about fishing. You can always learn from somebody else. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. What you got, boy? This grim probably swam past this worm, saw that fat daddy, and was like, I gotta have one. <laughs> yeah. Now me, Cody, and Josh got us one. Cool, that's a good one. You're gonna catch a nice bass. On so, there. this is what I have going on, Cody. I got, we got one in there. Mm -hmm. I got that one right there. I'm probably gonna cut that one. I'm gonna use this chunk bait. Okay. I'm putting a weird rig on. It's almost like a drop shot. Do you think that's fine? Yeah. You're gonna so I'm gonna rig it like this and have the weight down here. Yeah. We can try it, and if we don't have any bites on it, we'll switch it up. But I just want to see a big fish, like. I'm ready. Yeah, this guy's going right where they've been jumping out there. Uh-huh. I think it's gonna get munched, dude. We're gonna go for it. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Dude, it's pretty deep out there. Holy cow. Is it really? Dude, really deep. Okay, well, we're gonna try out the bottom rig. I think it's gonna be a lot better in this current. This fish have been hidden out there. I know there's some stuff out there that eat this. 
Uh, if we ended up having a bite on this, it'll probably end up being like a mudfish or a catfish. But, but like I said, I don't really care what we catch today. Let's just have some fun with it. Let's see what else we can rig up. I'm going to rig one up with a circle hook instead of a treble. Uh huh. And have this weight yeah. about there and tie the hook on the bottom. Tie the hook on the bottom. Cool. Chunk bait or live bait? Chunk, I think. Chunk. All right. What do you think? That's fine. Dude, look at that boil. Oh, we're going to catch something. Oh, yeah. So we got Cody right here. He's about to throw out some trunk bait too. His rig's a little bit different. Weight on top, trunk bait on the bottom. Yeah. There's that lizard. Dude, holy cow, did you swing that thing? Oh, you're gonna get smoked. Oh, dude, one just hammered me. He might, he might have it. One just demolished it. Yeah, I got him. Yeah. Did you see my line? Yeah, he's got it. Did you see that? Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's a good fish, dude. Oh, yeah, that's a good... Dude, that's a big fish, bro. That is a nice fish. Dude, that thing's big, doggy. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, dude, he's ripping drag. Yeah, it's probably a cat. Oh! It's huge, just a huge mud, bro. Oh my God, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Dude, that's what we we're talking about. Look like yours is kind of... Dude, that, that is the biggest mud I've ever seen. Here, hold this, Josh. Dude. Officially the, oh my God, dude, that thing is so big. We've never seen one that big, bro. That's a freaking donkey. Look how, oh my God. <laughs> Look at that slab, bro. Dude, that's a freaking giant dog. Yeah, it's probably better just. Cody, 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 Cody. Dude, your whole rod just, yeah, he's on there. You think he's on? Yeah, he's on there. I don't think he's on yeah, there. Yeah, he, yeah, just let it sit. Your whole rod, bro, just, I was watching it. That is the biggest mud I have ever seen. Whew. Well, guys. That's the first catch of the day. We've had a few bluegill. That is the biggest mudfish I've ever seen. <laughs> We've caught some big ones, Cody, on the river, but that is by far the biggest one. One I've ever caught and two that I've ever seen. There you go. Freaking dinosaur, dude. Yeah, that's what I saw when I first got here this morning. When yeah. I, I saw a big fish right there. That's what it was. I think it's huge, bro. And when we were playing with them, dude, you should have saw your rod. I know you heard the bell, mm -hmm. but your whole rod tip before the bell even went off was like going crazy. He might've stole your bait. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check it. Yeah, we're gonna have to check it. But I guess the old handy dandy treble hook drop shot rig worked. <laughs> yeah. You got him? Yeah. Big one? Yeah, it's a nice one. Oh, he just came off. No! Wait, 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 no, wait, he's wait. running at you. Dude, Cody's got him. You're going to get tangled up in my line, but we'll be straight. Mud? Big mud. Oh, dude, you're going wild with him. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I didn't realize their teeth were like that. Yeah. They're pretty mean looking, aren't they? He don't know about me, though. <laughs> All right, Mudfish. Just releases himself. There we go, dude. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> dude, over here, you call me over here to get my rod, and then he just like embarrasses me right here. Man, you know how to do it to you. I didn't mean to. I thought you had one, which I think you really did. And then, you know what happened is you had one, but I had your line. So it was making it look like yours. Yeah. But my, my rod wasn't even moving, it was yours. <laughs> But that was still really cool. All right, guys. So we have a few pieces of chunk bait. We're going to cut this bad boy in half because we got to save some bait right now. The bluegill have probably been the hardest thing to catch today. Got, 
What you got, Josh? Oh yeah, he's taking off with it. Look at this, dude. He is running. Get him, Josh. Oh, oh, oh no! You have to stand it like that. Oh my God! Look at him swimming with it. Look at him swimming with the bobber. Oh, dude, catch, catch it! Catch it. Here, here. Over there. here, here, here. Dude, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got him, dude. Here. No, no, no. He's on there. I snagged him, bro. Oh, it's a huge gar, bro. Dude, he's freaking huge. You want to? You want to get him, Josh? I got him in the mouth too. I didn't even snag him. I mean, I definitely snagged him, but he's in the mouth. Dude, that's wild. I have never caught a gar like that. That's him, ain't it? Yeah. Is that bobber still going? No, he's just floating. Have you ever caught one? Mm -hmm. In the river. Dude, that's oh, a, this is that's a good boy. He's a big one, he's beautiful. Actually, he is a pretty fish. Oh, Josh, I'm sorry, dude. Oh my gosh. Ooh, dude. You good? Oh, he got you good, didn't he? He bite you? <laughs> his teeth got. You get him unhooked? Yeah, look at him. He got his he leg good. <laughs> oh gosh. You good? Well, Josh, that's your fish, dude. I'm sorry, I didn't. Dude, hey, I'm glad you. That's got better him. than it breaking off and never seeing it. That's why he broke off though, because it was a gar. I didn't really set the hook that hard. Yeah, because... that's wild. And I happened to just hook him in the mouth. Dude, I know. That, that was that's perfect. Wild. The bobber, I wish we would have got that yeah. back, but. That's all dude, we that's lost. crazy. All right. oh, Which damn. we just got he to got the new me. spot. Yeah, he got you good, bro. <laughs> Do I have a nap? I think, here, I brought that. A little battle wound. Garbite. Dude, my fish have been, or your fish, <laughs> all these fish have been angry at you today. Wild. That was So, sick. dude, that, that was <laughs> sick. That was sick. He just like broke that thing off. We could see the bobber going crazy. And I just happened to like cast that treble hook right there and just hit him right in his snout. Or right, he couldn't have been better. Your line slack. Yeah, he, I think he has it. I think he might too. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and check it. Yeah, he's taking it. Yeah, he is. You got it, buddy. Yes. You got him, don't you? He's running at you. It's a catfish. Oh, he got me. Oh, did he? He's good. Oh, I got the hook. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had the hook. <laughs> My first fish of the day. Gosh. Oh, damn, Josh. There, son. Get him. Get him, boy. Oh, yeah. Is that a big one? Gosh, about jerked the dang rod out. It's another little catfish. Dude, he knocked it though. God, that's a different. <laughs> nice. We just got back to the truck. Let me tell you, it was a long day, but we had a lot of fun. It's actually about to get dark right now. We were grinding out there. How many bites did we get? We probably had six fish, I think, total. Mm -hmm, I caught three, you caught one, he caught two, a six. Yeah. If my math is correct right now. Yeah. But um, we had a good time. He caught two catfish, you caught a mud. I caught a, two muds and a gar, which was kind of crazy. That gar catch was unbelievable. Not only that, but that first mud fish that I caught was gigantic. And going into this video, you know, we did not expect to catch anything like that. We were honestly going for bass and we we're going to use his live bluegill but we had to adjust and you know this is normally a video i wouldn't post but today i was like you know what this is a good point and when you go out on the water the fish aren't always going to do what you think they're going to do you know you have to adjust you have to adapt we ended up using cut bait we ended up walking away with around six fish tonight so it was a good day if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section down below hit the like button we have some more banging content coming up very soon but thank you so much for the support and i'll catch you guys in the next video